Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Libra, let's check out what's up with your money. The general beginning of the month vibe is that, you know, um, you don't have a ton of control over how that's going to change or if it's going to change in the middle of the month, though, you might have some sort of new idea or insight about how to handle that. Now, if you watch the general Libra reading, which I recommend that you do at the end, there will be a little link to that. But, um, what they're saying there is that all of a sudden these new ideas kind of pop through for you that are new opportunities and they're definitely worth taking. If you're not sure about it, if you have an uneasy feeling, um, in that video they also mentioned that maybe you want to start reading tarot for yourself. If you want a personal reading, I can also help you with that. But um, Or anybody else that you trust, honestly. But what they're saying is, you know, the more work that you put into something, the better it's going to pay off for you this month. There's a lot of karmic stuff going on for you, and um, you might not see the end result of that, the total benefit for you until October, but things are going to be working behind the scenes, you know, your spirit guides, angels, um, the powers of the universe or whatever, that will kind of help you to either generate more income or to hold on to more of the income that you have. So, in the middle of the month, they're saying this should be pretty clear. And um, things might feel like they're moving or progressing a little bit slowly, but you should feel like you're on the right path. And then at the end of the month, you're like, okay, now it's time for a little bit of fun. How can I make this more fun? Because you might have the tendency to overexert yourself a little bit in the um, beginning and middle. Now, your money theme, they're saying, like, you might be starting this month off going, like, oh, my God, it's fucking hopeless. Like, you know, I get a raise, but it doesn't seem like things really change because then they just take my taxes, whatever. And they're saying we've really got to focus on what's going right. Um, turn our attention towards the positive because that's going to help us draw in those blessings that I mentioned that are somewhat karmic for us um, a little bit quicker. Okay, now potential new money or income streams, they're saying these will come to you based on your level of confidence. So if you're feeling super confident about, um, you know, any new ideas that you have, maybe you want to change up the way that you are pitching to clients, or maybe um, you've got some sort of idea on how you want to cut back on your cable bill because now you're going to stream everything. Everything you want to watch is on Netflix anyway, right? Something like that. Um, they're saying that you want to follow through with those ideas. Opportunities to consider are ones that you don't yet have. So when will those be coming through? Um, they're saying, well, for the majority of Libras, they're actually not going to show up unless you're in that really high frequency, like gratitude, I love everything, I'm like on top of the moon kind of uh, energy level. So I know that sucks if you're not there yet, but um, you could, for example, when things go wrong, right, um, maybe you lose an arm. You can be like, I'm so thankful I have this other arm. And every time you use that arm, I'm so thankful I have it. And that'd be an extreme example. But just to psych yourself up every morning, maybe don't read the news right away um, because it can be quite depressing. Or don't look at Facebook right away because that can be quite depressing um, with everybody's complaints and stuff like that. Walk around and think about all the things that you love, you know. I woke up on time. I love that I woke up on time. I happen to have a full tube of toothpaste or at least enough toothpaste to put on my toothbrush. I love that. I have running water. Hell yeah. And you really psych yourself up with this annoying kind of I love it energy, but I swear it really does work. It feels fake as fuck initially, but the more that you do it, the more it really does bring you joy. Um, actions to take advantage of these energies and they're just saying, look, if you're not feeling really confident and really joyful, then you're not going to appear that way outwardly to other people. So they're not going to approach you with um, the kind of things that we want to be approached with, you know, these potential new opportunities if they're coming from an outside source. So what's right with your current path is that 
you understand that there are some things that we've held on to, and this is not dissimilar from the general reading, that, um, you know, we care about them. We probably put a lot of work, time, energy, love into them, but they're not working for us anymore, and we want something bigger and better, and it's time to move on, and we understand that. So actually taking those steps is going to be important. But what's wrong with your current path is they're saying some of you just really feel way too tied to it, and you're lying to yourself that it's something that you can't abandon or let go of. For some of you, this is a current um, job. For some of you, this is a marriage. For some of you, this is a, um, you know, student loans, or your your uh, car loan or something like that but it's definitely like a contractual type of agreement like I have agreed that this is what I'm gonna do and um, it's actually time for many of you to walk away from that and that could just be promises we make to ourselves too you know I'm going to have a smoothie for breakfast every morning and maybe your body needs something different maybe it needs something else um, they're saying you might not really feel super confident in the beginning of the month when you watch this video about moving on from what it is that you need to, but you'll all know um, intuitively what that thing is. And if you don't, um, consult the tarot, right? Because per your general reading, that's the spirituality modality um, that'll work best for most of you this month. Now, they're saying um, some of you are maybe going to have to kind of ha be a little bit bitchy and harsh with yourself and say, okay you know what, maybe I am lying to myself. Some of you, it's going to be, you know, that really blunt but honest friend that um, you have this conversation, you're like, hmm, what, what about this? And, and they kind of call you out on it. But the fact of the matter is, um, if we don't tear down, you know, old, crusty buildings, we can't build beautiful new palaces in their place. Like, and it's sad to tear something down, you know? It's sad, something that we have a lot of memories in sometimes, but we can replace it with something that's much more beautiful and functional for us a lot of the time. So shitty to hear, I know, but what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. So this is kind of one of those months where it's like um, when you're watching TV and then you get to the end of a season and it's like, oh, fuck. And then like this time passes and then the new season starts and you're like so pumped and you're like, wait, it wasn't that bad. Like I'm actually really happy and excited now, like 40 seconds into the first episode. That's kind of what's happening. So we might not feel the end result and the benefit until October, but some of you have a serious transition to make. For many of you, it's really not that big of a deal, but um, for some of you, it might be something kind of big. So love you a ton and see you in October. Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20 minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.